breathing. I'm trying to get him CPR. Whoa, 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 whoa! Are you a black woman who get you a heart attack? It's a fact. Kevin Samuels just passed away. If I ain't like you when you was alive, I ain't gonna like you when you dead. There's no difference. I'm not gonna change up because you die. If I don't like you, I don't like you. Many people would describe Kevin Samuels as a misogynist. Kevin Samuels has gone over to the other side. I'm not sure which side he's gonna be on. I'm thinking he's, he's gonna be on the south side. She belongs to the streets. I think that's a stupid question. I would describe Kevin Samuels the father of controversy. He had his outrageous takes. How tall are you? I'm only 5'5. Five five. Just turned what kind of shape you been? Um, I, I'm overweight, working on well, it. Right now. Okay, okay. You got two struggles already. You can't be short and fat. But who really is Kevin Samuels? And what are the untold stories about him? <laughs> I was trying to keep my straight face during the interview. I could not. You already got two struggles. Pick one. Could it be his history of divorces? His unknown daughter? Protect the image of my dad. Well, let's begin from where it all started. Kevin Samuels was born March 13th. You were born in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma? Mm -hmm. Yes. For a public figure like Kevin Samuels, specific information about his parents were very hard to find. Something that did pique my curiosity. I guess you had a single mother and uh, was your father around a lot or, or no? Uh. My father was in Oklahoma City. He has, uh, they never married. He has several children from other women. After moving from Atlanta to Oklahoma, Kevin went to Millwood High School. While he attended school, he had a passion for fashion. If you're more street or athleisure, you'll want to put on some Yeezys, some joggers. Compared to his peers and his classmates, Kevin Samuels, what's the real mister put it on? At this time of year, it's a very fashionable place. Tie on or not, something looks off. Happy Mr. This suit now. is the most masculine thing any guy can wear. After high school, he moved on to study chemical engineering in college. Acrylate is combined with water. It creates a highly absorbent gel-like substance. After college, using his engineering skills, he joined a research firm. It absorbs the molecules through a process called osmosis. He then had a history of jobs where he was a waiter, he worked the office depot for three years, and then leading him to his career as an image consultant. This was the foundation that Kevin built his entire YouTube career on. Kevin was blowing up. His take started to stir up various communities online. One of the main communities that were against Kevin was a female rights activist group. Oh, if they weren't a size two, he was saying that they was linebackers, saying that they gonna die alone, no man gonna want them. They believed that his points were misogynistic and that he had no regards for the struggles that women go through. On the other hand, there were many female activist groups that were following Kevin and they believed that what he was saying was justice for men. And what do you bring to the table? You can't answer that, but you want a six figure man. They believed that he was just telling the truth about the reality of women and the struggles that men go through on a daily basis. These opinions, though controversial, they were a driving factor on Kevin's popularity in the online space. Run the away from this type of girl right here. Today I'm gonna teach you how to get a woman crazy obsessed with you. Though he did not create the red pill manosphere, Kevin was just a public supporter of the red pill ideology. Or the red pill. You remember what happened to him? The shock yeah. of that system, waking up, oh, but in order to become who he needed to come, he needed to wake up. Take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. For my lovely people out there that don't know about Red Pill, it's a community that tries to fight against women's entitlement. This community varies from incels to regular men to even some women. The Red Pill community is a reference to a scene in the movie The Matrix. Morpheus offers Neo two pills. One of the pills being the truth of the world and the other pill being one that will keep him ignorant. But the Red Pill community is the same. Their truth is that women live a much easier life than men and it's time for men to take back the power. So what did Kevin Samuels bring to the table for the Red Pill community? He made the Red Pill community viral. Like really viral. Kevin Samuels. Ma'am. You're average looking at best. Women still want men to move in a traditional way, but yet you're not traditional women. I'm 5'4". How much do you weigh? 180. Goodbye. <laughs> on a scale from 1 to 10, what do you think you are? Um, I think I'm like a high 7. St stop. Every time I try to talk to him to get him to open up so that I can understand him, he just make jokes. Though Kevin Samuels was a public supporter of the Red Pill community, as well as being a self-proclaimed relationship expert, his personal relationship life was not all sunshines and rainbows. In fact, he was married and divorced twice. So my high school sweetheart, we only married really about a little bit over a year. 
only after one year of marriage they had a daughter and then they separated due to irreconcilable differences after seven years he married another woman but three years into their relationship they divorced again do you ever plan on getting married again or are you happy single i'm happy period though these marriages fell off Kevin Samuels never spoke ill on his wife's. Allegedly, don't quote me on this, his first wife stated on a forum that he was a deadbeat dad and a terrible husband. I have no information supporting that statement, but what I do have is this court document. In this document in 2003, Cherie, Kevin Samuels' first wife, filed for divorce. She also wanted child support for their two-year-old daughter. At the time, Kevin was making just about $892, whereas his wife was making just above $2,000. With them being a relationship expert and having two divorces, many people question the relationship videos he made. You want a king, but you don't go to Smoothie King. You end up at Burger King. Sir! Some girl recently came out saying she was Kevin Samuel's daughter. I was trying to protect the image of my dad. But she said Kevin Samuels was really never emotionally available for her. It felt like I didn't matter. See, look, I'm about to cry. Every time she would ask him about his personal life or his upbringing, he just made jokes in an attempt to avoid him talking about himself. I remember a couple of months ago, I was like, Dad, you know, did you ever deal with any traumas growing up like that made you who you are? And he was like, well, you know, that one time your Uncle D, he stuck me with a diaper pen when he was changing my diaper when I was like two. For a man with this much influence, how is his life so secret? Kevin, when he was alive, he never confirmed if that daughter was his actual daughter or just somebody on the internet saying oh i'm kevin samuel's daughter however the detail she gives about kevin samuels and her home life with him is quite convincing you just gotta be one sick in the head to make those stories up hopefully you know we get more information about the real reason of kevin samuel's death they all say it's a heart attack but you know me i don't believe big media r.i.p to the goat live life with no regrets i'm out